Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, a breezy and mild one today, but shifting back to a more winter scenario with temperatures in the 40s tomorrow. Some rain chances tonight, lingering rain chances tomorrow and into the weekend as well. So kind of a dreary start to the weekend. Very changeable pattern in the 10 day forecast, and it continues to look interesting toward the end of next week. More on that in just a bit. First off, the big picture across the lower 48, and we have a nice little weather system moving through the Midwest. The Great Lakes producing some nice snows there, but for us, a trailing frontal boundary and a front that's pushing on through not showing much shower activity, but over the last hour activity beginning to perk up just a little bit. We haven't even looked at the Doppler in quite a while, and we do have some showers up by Huntsville, Texas, and then into eastern Texas uh, by Newton, and then a few more showers around Natchitoches up through the Monroe area and a few more per uh, popping up out ahead of this front and we're going to see this fill in a little bit more so as we get deeper into the evening with that front arriving on Lafayette's doorstep right around 11 o'clock tonight give or take an hour or two we see that front pushing on through uh, with scattered showers as we head through the midnight hour and then we'll dry out a little bit as we head into early Friday look at this temperatures in the 40s but they don't get out of the 40s tomorrow and then we're going to see those overrunning rains developing uh, it will be drier as you get further to the north but I-10 quarter on southward, plan on wet conditions, maybe even Highway 190 on southward on and off uh, shower activity will continue and it's going to stay cool and the clouds stay locked in through uh, tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. Another weak disturbance, mainly an upper level feature here. That's going to be running on through as we get into the afternoon hour Saturday. So rain chances early Saturday, but dropping off Saturday afternoon evening and then that feature begins to move east of us and weakens. We'll start off with clouds on Sunday, but hopefully finish with some sunshine Sunday afternoon. Cool weekend on tap with highs Saturday and Sunday only in the 50s overnight lows in the 40s and tomorrow we stay in the 40s all day long. So here we go as we get into Sunday looking at the GFS model. We showed you the European model earlier at 5 o'clock so and we'll compare and contrast these two coming up tonight at 10. As we get into Monday we start to warm up. We see temperatures in the 60s, some shower activity in the area, but here comes Arctic air. The first delivery of Arctic air our way all winter long. So temperatures go from the 60s into the 50s and perhaps the 40s. Winter precipitation develops I-20 corridor perhaps and then it gets even colder and we could see maybe a little bit of a wintry mix going into Friday. Both models indicating rain changing over to perhaps sleet. The Euro likes a little bit more in the way of snow. So we'll see how this plays out. Looks like we're missing some data here, but the bottom line, uh, it's going to feel and look like winter out there toward the end of next week with potentially the coldest temperatures of the entire winter season. Mind you, we haven't gotten below 30 degrees in Lafayette all winter long. So here we are Tuesday, 70 degrees. Then we get into Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. You see those temperatures daytime highs Friday, upper 30s, and we could see readings drop uh, dropping as low as the low to mid 20s for both next Saturday morning and also Valentine's morning. So we're going to want to cuddle up going into next weekend for sure, whether you like that Valentine's thing or not. Temperature wise, mid 40s tonight, upper 40s to near 50. Your high tomorrow, tomorrow night will hold in the 40s once again, and then Saturday should get into the 50s. Even the graph model is a little optimistic about lower 60s, but we'll see how that plays out. So mild early this evening, scattered showers developing, turning sharply cooler later on tonight. Rain chance at about 80%. Nothing heavy, nothing that's going to last too long. 47 the low, and then more on and off showers redeveloping, especially into tomorrow afternoon. We stay in the 40s most of the day. Might touch 50 or 51 for a high. Breeze out of the northeast and east will make it feel even colder. This weekend, 40% early Saturday, Sunday. Hopefully sunshine for the afternoon after morning clouds. Milder as we go into the middle part of next week. And then the big chill is on toward the end of next week. And for the first time all winter long, I'm using a couple of purple numbers here. That means temperatures in the hard freeze zone, perhaps. But again, seven to ten days out, a lot can change between now and then. But a boy can dream about winter precipitation. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. And yeah. we did get spoiled this year. You said the low is 30. 30 so far. Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully right. that's it. We'll see. Thanks, Rob.